Tonight, some students at Lake Braddock Secondary School tell me they felt unsafe after a fellow student created an Instagram account targeting LGBTQIA plus students. Some of the comments and captions were really pretty vile and homophobic. The account posted photos that appear to be taken inside the school without students knowledge, including derogatory captions that involve sexuality and mocked preferred pronouns. Lake Braddock students Allie Harbor and Charlie Baldwin say this is a reminder of the tension queer students face. I think that it really highlights how students might feel pressured to suppress their identity at school and, and really hide who they are, not dress how they want. In a statement, Lake Braddock High School's principal told families he is deeply troubled that any student feels that behavior is acceptable and worked with the cybersecurity team to get the account shut down, noting the student responsible is facing appropriate disciplinary action. I honestly was kind of shocked, um, but at the same time, a lot of students here are desensitized to that kind of thing. This comes as parents and educators debate books with LGBTQ characters and themes on library shelves. I think that things like the book ban and trying to ban discussions about queerness in the classroom are really just empowering this type of bigoted language. In Fairfax County, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.